Welcome back. So today on this video, we are talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately, and that is how do you set up your two-factor authentication on crypto.com? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's actually not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to set up two-factor authentication on your crypto.com app? Well, that's pretty easy. 2FA authentication on your crypto.com app is just another layer of security to help avoid your account from getting cleaned out from hackers. And if you want to set up your two-factor authentication on crypto.com, it's here handled in the app. It's this blue and white one right here. If you don't have the time to watch the video, be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there, but I'm going to open my crypto.com app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. This is the home screen here. Now, if you want to set up your 2FA in crypto.com, you want to click on this gear icon here on the top left. I'm going to click there now. Okay, once you click there, it's going to bring up the settings menu for your crypto.com. But in order to set up two-factor authentication, you want to scroll down until you get to this line right here called two-factor authentication. Once you're there, go ahead and click on the line. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Now, as you can see, my 2FA is not enabled. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and slide that over or just click on it. All right, once you click there, it will request you to enter your passcode to crypto.com. So I'm going to enter mine in off screen. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, the setting up two-factor authentication screen pops up. Now, this is going to be unique to my account on crypto.com. So your QR code is going to look different. And then also there's a long string of numbers and letters down here at the bottom, which is my authentication key. Either way, what you want to do is go ahead and copy this authentication key down here at the bottom. So I'm going to click on this little two page thing. Okay. Now it's been copied to my clipboard. Alternatively, if you're setting this up with another phone, you can go ahead and scan this QR code. I'm just using working with a one phone. So that wouldn't work for me. It does let you know you need to install Google Authenticator or another 2FA app. For me, I use Google Authenticator. Most of these apps are pretty similar anyways. Once you've copied that, go ahead and click on proceed to verify. Okay, next it's asking me to enter my six digit verification code. This code you're going to receive from your authentication app. So again, I'm using Google Authenticator, so I'm gonna switch over to there now. Okay guys, I'm pulling up my Google Authenticator. It's this one right here. I'm gonna open it now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Google Authenticator. So you will need to set up a new account linking it to your crypto.com. If you have crypto.com here on this menu, you wanna go ahead and delete that because it's no longer any good since it's already been disconnected. If you're using a different app, the process is going to be similar, but slightly different. For Google Authenticator, in order to add 2FA for crypto.com, you want to click on this little plus icon here on the bottom right. Okay. Once you click there, you get two options, either scan a QR code or enter a setup key. For me, I'm using the setup key because again, it's not I'm not able to scan the QR code unless I had a different phone. So I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys. So next you want to enter your account details. So this one's kind of important right here on account. Be sure to enter something that you're going to remember, especially if you use a lot of different authenticators, because if not, you're just going to have a long list of numbers and you're not going to be sure which account to use. And a lot of times on most apps, if you enter the wrong key multiple times, it can lock you out. So for this one, I'm going to put crypto.com new, and then I'll put the month and year. So let's do May 2021. All right. Next, what you want to do is click on the key and then just paste in the key that we copied from crypto.com earlier. Okay. So I went ahead and pasted in my key right there. I'm going to click on add. Okay. Once you do that, then it brings you back here to your list of authenticator codes. So in order for me to add this into crypto.com, you just want to click on it and then it'll copy the number and then see this little ticker right here. You want to do it before the ticker ends. Otherwise this number expires and then it will change. So I'm going to wait for the new number. Okay. Here's the new number. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to switch back to crypto.com now. Okay. Here I am on crypto.com. So with that code, I'm going to just copy and paste it right in here. Okay. I pasted my code. I'm going to click enable now. Okay. Next, this green screen pops up and lets me know my two-factor authentication is enabled successfully. So I'm going to tap anywhere to continue. Okay. Now it just brings me back to the settings tab. And then if you click on two-factor authentication again, it brings up a list of items that you can change that require two-factor authentication. So you can do whatever is most convenient or most secure for your particular account. For me, I'm going to leave it on default and just leave all of them as enabled. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to set up your two-factor authentication on crypto.com, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.